And welcome everyone to Book the Ticket, the movie podcast for the CBC channel. Uh, Google us, you know, well, as Joe always says. I think it's easy. You don't. Um, you can find us on Twitter, Mitch692 and Halftime Joe. And we have a tiny, 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 tiny show. Tiny. Tiny show. There's some topics. It's just not really much to get your teeth into. Not a lot of movie news for some reason. Like, yeah. you know, in that it's, genre. It's a dead week, apparently. Um, but jumping right into everything, we have our first poster for Cree 2. Which confirms a trailer will be out tomorrow or mm-hmm. the Wednesday after this is recorded. Yeah, so Wednesday, because today's Tuesday, mm-hmm. technically, when you hear this. Yeah. And of course, it is coming out on Thanksgiving. Um, it's a bland as fuck poster. There's not much to say about it, really. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sorry, right. just uh, really this piece of news was just to mention everybody, like, hey, trailer coming out tomorrow. Be ready for it. Um, I loved Creed 1. I honestly think it's in my top movies or top favorite movies ever. Uh, well, that's a hard one. I have to really think I, about that. For me, yes. Uh, I don't. Once I saw it, I was like instantly in my top. I don't know if it's top five, but top ten. I have to rethink my top movies and stuff like that. But I, I know for sure Creed is in there. Creed two is not going to be as good. Let's just be honest. Ryan Coogler's off of it. I was gonna say yeah, uh, no. I, I would if it was Coogler still on this, I'd yeah. be just hyped as I was for the first one. But same. it's not. So just like eh. So I'm it's sure same. it'd be fine. Like. Uh, Exactly the same way. I'm sure it'll be a fine movie. It'll be enjoyable to uh, to an extent, but it won't have the depthness that the first one had. It won't have the impact I think the first one had in terms yeah. of how raw it was to the audience when we're watching. And certain things mirrored certain things. So like you know, Ryan Coogler did certain things in the movie that mirrored his real life, which made like him directing it very uh, more emotional, and it got brought into screen and all that. So it's gonna be all right. And plus, it's that whole thing of like. Uh, we're bringing back uh, the the character that can't really. Uh, I, I don't know. So there's that one of like it's it's cheesy to an extent, right? It's that can't be serious. I would say. What? Like what? being bringing back Ivan Drago and then his uh, son, because that's what Michael B. Jordan is gonna be doing. He's gonna be facing Ivan Drago's son in the movie. Well, I mean, you kind of have to, don't you? Really? Yeah, it's it's just one of those things. I think it's gonna be more cheesy than the well, first so one. Also, it's a it's a Rocky universe movie. It's gonna be cheesy. Yeah, but the, the like, Creed one was yeah. wasn't really that cheesy. Creed one, I thought was super pretty yeah. serious, and it had little moments of like just, but like comedy cheesy. But it wasn't cheesy per se. It was just he, levity and humor. Like it wasn't cheesy. I, I mean, levity and humor is a bit. Yeah, cheesy. I just think that first one was so good that nothing's really ever gonna top it. It's almost yeah. like the original Rocky. Uh, franchise where the first one's so good I don't know if the other ones are really gonna top it some people like the other Rockies because of certain things but like I think that first one was a really like more serious one and then it got more cheesy mm. fun fact I have never seen a Rocky movie apart from Creed 1 mm. uh, I don't know if you like them I, I think I, I like them a lot I I think like, I, I, to be honest I probably would like them I've yeah. just never had a reason to watch them I think where are they just like, I think they're on Hulu but you don't get them over there so they're, no, I don't don't know. Get yeah you might have to figure that out because I know they're on Hulu for sure I, I mean I think on. they're on on demand over here on the TV so yeah I could I, be wrong I'm sad normally yeah you know they're, they're they're fine and enjoyable movies um people always uh quote them Throughout yeah, the series. I, I mean, you, you know the quotes, you know the references, just because they're there. Yeah, it's part of pop culture. You know, they're just there. Definitely it's like is. Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, but in the now with Creed two, uh, I, I don't know how it's gonna work out. It's probably like what we said. It's probably not gonna be a better movie, but I'm sure you'll still find enjoyment, and I will too. And mm. we'll, we'll look back in it in hindsight and be like, I mean, wasn't as good, but let's see where it goes from now. Because now he's Adonis. Michael B. Jordan has his franchise. Yeah. I guess Black Panther could have been that, but technically he's only in there for one movie. This is going to be his franchise. It goes to five movies. Well, I mean, he said he's open to coming back as Killmonger. Look, I'm in for it, but I don't know if that ruins kind of like uh, the thematic uh, things in Well, I mean, Black let's Panther. be honest. You know, the child is king of the dead. You can bring him back pretty easily. And it's still, it, it won't necessarily take away from anything. It, it'd be a little weird because I think his whole story ended, you know? 
Killmonger story ended in that movie, and Michael Jordan was like, yeah. it's fine to come back, because what actor isn't fine to come back in a Marvel movie, you know? I'm not, I'm, not, like, I'm not saying his story, like, didn't end there. So you'd be know. okay with it? You'd be like, ah, it's fine, comics do that all I'd the time, right? Oh, well, yeah, why wouldn't I be all right. fine? Uh, you know, thinking about it like that, sure. We'll see what... I, I, if anything, I still have the original kind of, like, story. I can always just look back at that and be like, this is great. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't you know, care. The, the Fantastic Four coming back in August does not take away from Secret Wars. True, very true. Very. Um, so yeah, this is coming out apparently November twenty first, and yeah, I think that's pretty yeah. much it. Unless you, you didn't really, really want to read the, the synopsis because it's just like you know they he's adjusting to being this, and then he fights the sun. It's it's the first movie, but different. I mean, it's like almost like just a reincarnation of the original franchise. You know, yeah, what I'm like, it's, it's you know, it's, they're going to do the same stuff, which was kind of obvious. You from know, the first shout one. out to Michael B. Jordan for finally getting his franchise. As I said, he, they're going to make five, six movies out of this, five, six creeds, and he's going to be down for all of them. Oh yeah, then they'll they'll do like an Apollo. Movie. Yeah, and then he's gonna. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have his. This is the thing that's gonna keep going. I feel like in another twenty years, they'll do like a different version of it, somebody's son or something. Yeah. But this time it'll be Michael B. Jordan that's got cancer. I, I hope they don't do that. Cause alone. <laughs> that. That would kind of like... I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't remember 20 years ago. I mean, you would. No, because if Cause it's you'd like... Be like oh, you'd be like, oh, I remember the movie he's from. Like, oh, yeah, I guess I probably... They pro- it's all probably in our minds already. They just inject the movies into our minds. You know, maybe you have Sly as a robot in there. <laughs> like the, the original. Bats, Rocky, yeah, right. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. See, that's when it got super cheesy. It's like, whoa, okay. But that's a bit more than cheese. Like, yeah. What you even thinking? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's funny. Uh, so, yeah. We'll see what happens. Like you said, kind of bland poster, but it is what it is. It's a cool poster. It sets the, it, like, you it know, sets it sets the tone. The tone yeah. The movie, so. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah. Um, I can't think of a segue. I, you got to pass I'm, through I'm, this on your own. I'm, I'm segue blind. Um, Movie Pass has hit three million subscribers and projects five million by the year's end. Now, they, for anybody who doesn't know, and I'm pretty sure people outside of the U.S. know this, the, over there in the U.K., Mitch is telling me that they have their own version of this, pretty much we better. Have yeah, we have two versions, and it's also pretty much better than Movie Pass. Um, yeah, but for the United States people. Uh, I've always been like, you know, I'm getting mine pretty soon, um, so I'm going to start it out. But I'm always curious to hear other people's stories about their movie pass. One of the things I hear the most is that you still can't kind of do the reserve things. You have to be near the theater because, like, let's say we're watching Atman and the Wasp, right? And I want to get Thursday night showings. You can't really do that with movie pass. Because th- they're going to be uh... sold out, so you're not going to have any. You know what, what I'm saying? Mean? You like well, so if you, if you res- you're going to re- if you're going to reserve a seat. You could do it surely. So you can't reserve. Or can you not just use it online? You can't use it online. You have to be use it on the app in yeah. next to the theater. Uh, next uh, to the theater. Yeah. So it's one of those things. Next where, to it. Yeah, you have to be near the theater, not next to it what? exactly. There's like a radius around it. Yeah. What is this? It's not Pokemon Go. It's Movie Pass. What the hell is yeah. this? I know. There's still stuff they need to fix. I'm gr- glad they changed the price That's and all so that. There's still stuff they need to fix. That's so. So weird. it's one of the things. So if I want to see Ammon and the Wasp, right? I can't when the tickets go on sale. Can't order them. I have to wait to that Thursday. From what I from what I gather, wait to that Thursday. Hopefully, there's a showing that night that there's an extra seat and I can grab it. Yeah. If not, I'm kind of screwed. And even then, See, over here, yeah. over here, the ones we had, you could never you could never book online. You had to actually physically go in to the theater and book it. But I think they've changed that now to See, where you can book I it online. Change my mindset and all that. I remember years ago, I was. I hated the idea of reserving seats because I was like, man, I used to love just going in there for like an hour early and getting seats, uh, getting like, you know, having to fight for seats. But I'm like, this is way more convenient. Reserving your seat yeah. is way more easier. I tell you what, what I've learned in my few years, in my 20 something years on this planet is America does things really slow and they, they are, beh- you are behind a lot. Yeah. It's like chip and pin. In like a credit card or your bank card. Oh yeah, we just, that, I feel like we just that, got that. We've had that, Christ, for as long as I can remember. It's like, oh yeah, America's just getting driven pin. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that we, we've had movie pass for about 
10 going on maybe 15 years I, I think something we, like that i think Amer the u.s has only had it for maybe five years or four if that but if, if that, that but then say, i say five at most okay maybe three years but that, uh, the thing the difference was in the very beginning it cost 40 bucks Oof. and it was still one of the, it still had the same problems as this one they were like you have to be near the theater and there's this whole thing now that if you buy the ticket you have to take a screenshot of it upload it to kind of yeah, confirm that's that's, ex that's that's too extra that's right weird. that's way too yeah. extra that's an extra step that i don't want to take let's say like just use the card to yeah. get a ticket it's, it's just so i don't know there needs to be a better way and i'm sure they're figuring this out and stuff like that or maybe they're just gonna build up the movie passing and then sell all the data like this is like a one yeah. type of shit <laughs> <laughs> and then like movie pass just disappears you thought the card was safe. <laughs> exactly. And um, you know that it, they're going to like sell that to certain movie uh, theater or something like that. But AMC, I think, is the one that still doesn't like movie pass. Because they know yeah, Draft yeah. House and Santicos, which is like a Texas-based theater chain, they they are okay with it. Um, but And also, you can't... I think you can only see regular 2D. And I don't even think you could see kind um, of like the, the recliner seats. I, I don't know about that. See, we don't have rec that's the only thing you guys are beating us on is recliners. It's we because we're lazy. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's lazy. I think it's just more comfort thing. But yeah, you know, want, we you can fall asleep in them. Like only like the the really the highbrow toffee theaters have like fancy seats over here. And we have like three different versions of IMAX. Like there's IMAX, there's AVX, there's RVX. Those what's are like a, three different versions that? of an IMAX where it's like a bigger screen, bigger. It's AVX, I think, is just uh, another movie theater chain's version of IMAX. And RVX is another movie theater chain's version of IMAX as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. Movie Pass started in 2011. Crap. Mm, seven years. But even then, mm. like, it was probably terrible. Nobody wanted to use it. Yeah, probably. And then it, nobody wanted to use it until it was 10 bucks, which is a reasonable price, I must say. I'm say if you can pay like ten bucks and you can see whatever movie you want, however many like many yeah, times you want, that's fine. Yeah, because but... I haven't gone to the theater in a bit, and there's about eight movies out right now in the theaters that I really want to go see. And... Same. So, so if like if I had like a cinema close to me, I'd have one. But... Yeah, but you, that's what sucks, man. Sometimes it's, you maybe you should start a petition, Mitch. They, they um, don't care. There was there was rumors that. Yeah. We were gonna get one, but they decided to put in like more food, like supermarkets, despite us having six already. Like, okay, that's it's just like it's like well done, cancel. You you think, yeah, you think you'd get some more money for the city in a movie theater? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna build all this stuff. It's like we've already got that. That's great. We have so many uh, of our grocery stores. Like they're just popping up everywhere now. They're in convenience stores now. It's called HEB. Here everything's better. It's like a Texas-based grocery store. Yeah, it's just like you know, if you get rid of the train station first, <laughs> that was like a hundred years ago. Now. <laughs> it's like, god damn it! All right, um, <laughs> so yeah, three million yeah, subscribers, you know, five million at the end of the year. It's a lot of people. Yeah, it's a new thing, right? Subscription. I mean, not new, but subscriptions is the way of the future, which is kind of now actually. It's almost basically now. It's the way it's of the present. It's five percent of the U.S. box office receipts. That's quite a lot. With its peak weeks nearing eight percent, that's that's a lot. Mhm, mm it's a lot. That's a lot of yeah, it's a definitely. But but then you look at it in this three million. There, that's what, like, how many people in the U.S. It's like what three hundred and sixty odd million. Yeah, and three million is what point something of a percent. <laughs> So I want to ask you this: What do you think is going to happen first? Uh, Movie Pass fixes their problems, and they, you know you, you can do the regular seating instead of ten bucks or whatever, or that box you order and it's like some, twenty bucks a movie, and you can you don't have to go to the theater; you can watch it the day of at home. What's happening first? Like, movie... ooh, because I, I feel like know. those are both out there. I don't know. You get the thing. Hmm. So if they did it where you could watch the movie at home, yeah, like through an I know app, you like would that get would... that. You're one of those. I'd, I'd you love watching it at home because you have a really I'd... good TV, but also you like people. I guess in UK don't necessarily love the kind of 
open no one theater. likes anyone. No one likes people. So the I less so. time around people, the better. <laughs> I, I still like especially, the kind of like you're at a sporting event when you go watch the movies. Yeah, but I mean, sporting stuff's a bit different, you know. There's an atmosphere there, you know. Yeah. Movies are you sit in a small stuffy box for two hours. Sure, I remember. And, you, and you're looking at lights changing. I remember so... watching Infinity War, and I didn't hear certain pieces of dialogue because of everybody like clapping and like, yeah. I, I'd have been mad. No, nah, I'd have, got, I'd I'd have even, got up and gone. <laughs> it didn't even like uh, go like it didn't, I didn't recognize that till like way later. And you were talking yeah. about something. I was like, oh, I guess I missed that. Been, I'd have been mad. <laughs> there was also know, like, fair out, enough. Like, people in like when I saw it were loud at the end. That's fine. That movie like was legit allowed that reaction at the end, yeah. but not during the movie. Like even the little kids were quiet. It's just like thank you, little kids. But... Yeah. And yeah. Uh, um, I don't know which one they go to first. They probably wouldn't do the home release stuff. But... That's there's still a lot of problems you have to fix with that, and also people are just gonna have to learn. You have to pay a lot for that because yeah. It's just... Yeah, well, you would have to pay a lot for it to start. The more people that do it, the lower the price will go down. It's true, very true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, t- for a second, I forgot I do this show. Not <laughs> um, well, speaking of one stupid thing to another, um, Travol- John Travolta's Gotti is having a bit of a moment. It's a weird moment. Very weird. Because not only has it got zero from Rotten Tomatoes, it appears that the audience score has been tampered with because there's more reviews on that than there is for Incredibles 2 and got is in like 11 theaters in the States. I have I and, it in my regular theater. And yet they're using those reviews as promotion while calling the critics trolls and don't listen to this. The fans are spoken. So it's kind of like, what is going on? I'm going to look up Rotten Tomatoes and just kind of see what movies are at 0% because I'm very curious as to what movies Not have... a lot. It's it's a rare fucking how do you How do you find movies that are 0%? Uh, I don't know, to be Coming honest. Coming soon, more opening, certified fresh. Yeah, it seems like very difficult. They should have like a rating. I mean, not a rating thing, but like... Um, I think the Emoji movie for a while had it. Um, popular on TV. No, I, right. I uh, Staying alive has got one. Wait, I gotta Hold send on. send the link. Only films of critic consensus. At least twenty reviews are included. But is this actually for zero oh, percent? Yeah. Well, here's on Wikipedia. List of films with a zero rating. On... Yeah, that's literally what I was looking at. So you've got okay. Staying Alive, Jaws: The Revenge, Police Academy Four. But that's going like down up. Let's go up down. Let's go. Let's go from right now to... All right, if you want to go more modern films... Yeah, more modern, because... Then... You've got Stratton, uh, Precious Cargo, Dark Crimes, Max Steel, Cabin Fever, The Ridiculous Six, Dark Tide, A Thousand Words, Bucky Larson, Born to be a Star, The Nutcracker in 3D, Stolen, Homecoming, One Miss Call... No way! No way One Miss Call is 0%. No way! I've what? never seen... Dude, come on! That was at least oh. like a a two percent or something. Like I actually like. Well, I that's that's, that that's the thing. Like people was going, no way! It's at least a sixty or it's at least a blur. It's like that's not how Rotten Tomatoes. No, but it's crazy to me that none of the critics actually enjoy. Like not even one thought. Like it was a four or a three or something, in ter- or whatever. Like there wasn't. I don't know. So like. I mean, like you can go on like so this is okay. So with the the score might be high, but percentage that liked it is going to be lower. So everybody just slimed it, right? When everybody slimes it, it's a zero. Is that what it is? Um, it's the the percentage is like percent of tomatoes to slime. Is that what it is? Right. You give your score. Yeah, but uh, I'm I'm beyond all that. I know. I know how some of it works. I'm just explaining. You give your mark out of ten. Okay. What? Right. And then you can say if it's rotten or if it's fresh. Yes, yeah, so that's what I just said. Like, is it the yeah. the ratio, the the percentage is the percentage of slime and tomatoes? Like, I I get the whole score thing or whatever you've explained. Yeah, no, it's just that yeah. in my head I was like, I have to actually say how that works so for me to make sense of it. So like, if there's everything is slimed, where well, people might have gave it a two, three, four, like out of ten, but it's slimed, that just all slimed, that means it's a zero percent, right? Yeah. It's crazy to me that even one person enjoyed that. You no, know, if, if let's go one missed call, what is it? 2008. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the one. Let's look it up. I'm um, actually, we, can, we should make this know, a regular team. Average rating is 2.5 out of 10. 
180. Yeah, yeah, but it's... Like, mm. If you look at the audience score, 29% liked it. So the audience is more with you. Yeah, because I guess as a movie overall, it might not necessarily yeah. be that great. But then but... again, like, even like the average audience rating is 2.7, so it lines up with the critics. Yeah, but it's that's the, fine. The whole tomato thing is just like, no, this is garbage, that's good. That's no, 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 good. Yeah. but it uh, seems like more people liked it, I guess, because like, the rating is like, low, but it doesn't matter. It's like, I thought it, I still actually enjoyed it, even though it's a bad film. Yeah. Well, it's, it's... it's crazy to me that no, no one critic, like... Thought this could be a cool horror movie. To be fair, I haven't seen it since 2008, and it scared me uh, as a kid. One so. of the weakest entries in the J horror remake sweepstakes. One Miss Cool is undone by bland performances in shop worn shocks. You know, I think I'm overhyping it from when I was younger when I first saw it. Yeah, probably are. Cause looking from that poster, yeah, you're right. okay. Let's go down more. I'm just. Let's keep doing this because um, we should make this a weekly thing. Something with right. You got Scar. You got Redline. You got Constellation. You got Super Babies. Baby Geniuses Two. Uh, National Lampoon's Gold Diggers. Pinocchio. All right, how about like instead of like Pinocchio. all of them, like, want to just keep going down the line until you see something you think is weird? Pinocchio. Um, I've never seen that movie. It's an Italian fantasy comedy drama film. See, the, the rest of them is just like, eh, that's fine. Shadow Conspiracy, Low Down, Dirty Shame. Yeah, some of these, like, I, I don't no. necessarily remember seeing. There's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Quite a lot, you're right. Wow, John Travolta. The the first 0% of Rotten Tam- Tomatoes, and also the the last, the the recent, 2018. No, there's, there's 35. Yeah, but John, look, in 1983, John Travolta had Staying Alive, right? That was the first 0% wow, of Rotten Tomatoes. is he really bookending? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone full circle with Gotti. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is hilarious. This is the story we need to see, John Travolta's, like, story of being a 0% on Rotten That should have been the movie. That should be a new movie. <laughs> and he's, That's like, out there trying to fight the critics and stuff like that because they did, did, did it to him in 1983, and they're doing it again in 2018, except he won't take it. He's going to yeah. fight the critics. Oh, man, this is... We're making this new story on our own. <laughs> Dude, this have is... You se- have you seen the marketing they're using? For, oh, yeah, the critics hate it, but you won't. Or something like that. Yeah, it's like, don't listen to the trolls, but who hide behind the keyboard? <laughs> and it's like, are we really doing this? That's funny. That's all oh, so that. <laughs> who would you trust more, yourself or a troll behind a keyboard? That's very it's true, like, very true. It's like, have we really <laughs> landed in this timeline? Where, like, if people don't like something, they're automatically a See, troll. my thing with Rotten Tomatoes is not necessarily all this and that. It's just that apparently it has so much power that... Well, that's, that's the problem. Like, people going, like, oh, no, it's this, it's that. It's like, then a lot don't of people put stock it, in it. Yeah, no, like, a lot of people put stock in it, which is very weird. Because I, I think it's a very well-run website. I think what they do is fine. And, like, the whole, like, rating system, I think that's all good. But it's just, I, I just think you should... You shouldn't put much stock into it of like, oh, I should not go see this movie. I think you should go see whatever. But at the same time, it's not a bad website. No, it's just like... It's, it has its own, uh, like, work to be done on the internet. Like, I said, like, it's not a perfect website. Yeah, the scoring, sure. like, the way they do it isn't perfect either. Like, there, you can get some fucky moments. But for not like... Oh, people go, oh no, he doesn't deserve this score. It's like, yeah, but that's not necessarily it, yeah. It, but no, but that's, it's like it's not being scored. Yeah, it's just how many it's people an, like it's it. It's an aggregate. That's all it is. It's not giving you ha- like it does but, tell you. Pe- what aggregate the is too big of a word for certain people. It's just how many people liked it. Let's just put it. How I'm, many I'm, critics liked it? Yeah, no, this I'm, is just it's as simple I, I as like, that. I like to think the people that listen actually have a frontal lobe. Yeah, but work. the people who fight about it don't. So. Yeah, but they can get mad that they don't know a word. Like, fuck. Yeah, they just don't. No, well, at the same time, so I'm just saying, it's as simple as that. Just how many people liked it. Um, but other than that, I think this should be a new thing because we have Box Office Mojo. We have Ron, I think Rotten Tomatoes should be brought up. Because like, I just think it's funny, like some of these movies that nobody liked. Uh, it's, it's just, it's funny. It, it like, is. Kind it's, of funny. It's, it's sad. It, it's just, to be fair, it's not funny. It's kind of sad that it's come to this. And it's like, oh no, we're going to push back against these reviews and critics. And like, to be no. fair, Rotten Tomatoes is only the bad guy when they're against a movie you like. Yeah. It's yeah. like, until then, it's they're, they're whatever. But until they're against a movie you like, 
It's there as a bad guy, yeah. So, you know, it's like, oh, like, they're not legit because look at BVS's well, score. And it's like, oh, but they look at Wonder Woman. Like, yeah, you, it's better than the Marvel movies. Like, what? Look at it like Why? this. You could take any reviewer on YouTube is a bad guy if they don't like your movie in a sense like that. Oh, you're telling people yeah. not to watch this movie. I really enjoyed it. You should let people to make their own opinions. Well, it's, it's, it's a weird line with people on the internet. Yeah. yeah. People just got really... Per, uh, pissy? Just really sensitive Agreed. about... It's a sensitive like year. What they perceive is like a personal attack and or just a, a, a discussion. Dude, something. I hope Trump comes out and says he loves Gotti or something. He probably will. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, no, I suppose uh, Travolta used to cross dress, isn't he? Oh, so, yeah. Never mind. He's not going to um, say anything good about it. So, yeah, uh, that, Gotti is just this weird an- anomaly of like, hey, we're, you, our marketing is firing back at the critics. But here's the thing, like, is. Like, have they, like, review bombed the audience score? Because there's far too many reviews for the amount of theaters out there. So it's like, is there actually a small fan base of Gotti people? Or is it, like, the actual people who made the movie doing it? I, I'm telling you now, I've seen certain clips of this. It's not a movie I probably like. I'm not even the biggest Travolta fan either, so it's probably a movie I, I don't like. I don't think many people are Travolta uh, the fans. Only tra- I think even Travolta's a Travolta fan. <laughs> the honestly. only movie I recall Travolta that I love was Grease. See, yeah, lo- Greece, love I love str- Greece. Love is a strong word. <laughs> For Greece, I love Greece, dude. I I go back, I, I can quote it. I can uh, see the songs, and I've always wanted to be I Danny mean, Zuko. Everyone can quote. Everyone can quote uh, quote Greece and sing the songs. Yeah, it don't make it a good movie. Well, that's the difference. I didn't say it was a good movie. I said I loved it. Does it doesn't mean it's not necessarily a great movie or a good movie. It could be no, just a. A meh movie, but at the same time, it's I really a, it's like a bit it. more. It's a bit less than a meh. Okay, it's but at the same time, that's another thing we have to like. The internet has to somehow fix of like when people say they love a movie, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the greatest of movies. It also doesn't necessarily mean you'll love the movie. People just need to stop putting so much stock in opinions. Like, who cares? Agree. Just watch whatever you want. Unless yeah. you really are hesitant about something, then put stock into an opinion. Other than that, like, if you're really dead set on watching something, go watch it. <laughs> you know, unless someone's physically coming at you and, like, being like, oh, you're, you're retarded, like, you like, no, 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 It's like, sure, fine, but there's no need to go that example, far over a movie. Example, no. I wasn't necessarily looking forward to Deadpool 2, so I asked Mitch, do you think it's a movie I would like? And he knows me very well, and he said... Probably not. It's probably one you can miss. And I was like, I, I don't really have it. I didn't really, with that said on watching it, I don't really care. You know? Mm-hmm. And there's probably going to be people who say, go watch Deadpool 2. I honestly don't care about Deadpool that much. Yeah. I don't think. Well, what is Deadpool 2 at? Around two, let's check. I'm curious. Uh, how many people liked it? Deadpool 2 is at 690 million. What was the first one? But anyway, enough about Gutty. Yeah. Enough about Gutty. Enough Let's about go on to some actual news <laughs> you might be able to talk about. Uh, Captain Marvel does have its composer. Um, you probably won't know her name. It's uh, Pina Toprak. But you but will know her name soon. You will know... You will have heard what she's done before. She's done... She Krypton. did the opening... The new music for Krypton. She did additional stuff for Justice League. Which is... I believe she done stuff for Mask of the Phantasm and the animated series. Can, can can we just say like, you know, not a lot of people know about second directors on movies, and that's a thing. Some people yeah, don't know yeah, that's a thing, right? Yeah, second yeah. composers, uh, so people are like, oh, she should have got her name like put on like something for Justice League. I'm like, she was a second composer. Those usually don't get their names out there. It doesn't matter who they are. They don't get their names out there. Second directors yeah, don't. Yeah. Second but at the same time, don't. it's like it's kind of like, oh yeah, we only pay attention to one half of a movie. That, that's just how it is. I mean, people don't pay attention to the second directors of stuff. They're like, oh, now they do because like there was a thing with um, I think the the ninth Star Wars movie. So they came out and said that this woman, this uh, uh who's also a person of color, they, they got a yeah. They, got they announced that she was gonna be a second director for the film, and now I think that's a thing now that everybody. It's either no, no one mentioned that no really? one picked that up the only people that picked that up that i saw was discussing film on twitter uh, no shout one out else shout out to no them. one touched that story but it, no one cares no one cares about a second director but yeah, that's just no one cares story. about a second composer like oh she did additional music for justice league like no like but her doing krypton like as her main thing like okay that's something 
this this is gonna be something when you nobody cares about like and it's it's you know it's a thing like even if you do a little bit of stuff you should always get credit but it's, it's Hollywood it is what it is and I'm not saying this is the right way this is just how it is nobody cares yeah about what the addition she, or the second person she's done video games what has she done don't know you know shout out uh, to her though she you know she's getting on Captain Marvel she's in the superhero gig already. Uh, and see, this is that. why no one talks about the second director right here. Oh, you'll know her stuff. What? She's done Fortnite. Oh, yeah, that was the big thing. I remember. <laughs> you didn't, you, you think she would have been known by that the most? Like, Fortnite composer. Like, that's just... Cause that's I mean, the, name the... me one video game composer. That's not her. Yes, yeah, true. Nobody knows video game composers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, n- name me one person that works in video games. That's so true. That's also sad that no one really cares too much about video game composers, even though they very much matter to your video game experience. I was going to say, it's a huge part. It's it's huge Horizon part. Zero Dawn, right? I haven't played it. I have it now. So shout out to oh, the PlayStation cell. So but that the game. composing in there, right? The score very much. So, yeah, that score in that game is fantastic. Yeah, see? It's one of those things. And look, so well done. So her additional music credit in Justice League helped her land the Krypton gig. That, that's yeah. why you do some of these stuff. You you are the second person, third person, so you eventually get your first big gig as the first person. I, th- I feel like people should know this. It's like a tip, you know, a kind of common sense thing, but I guess not. Mm. You know, it's, it's just how it works, isn't it? No. That's awesome that she's going to uh, be doing this. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And I, you know, I... I think that movie's yeah. gonna be really great though, so I don't I don't necessarily think this is gonna take me out or I just always thought that movie's gonna be great. Whoever they got for composing, I'm sure they were gonna do a very good job. Oh yeah, I don't think else. she'll be bad. I'm I just can't think of off the top of my head anything. Of what of what else to say? Like, yeah, it's gonna be good. Well no, I, I meant like her, what her music's like. I, I can't I'm, beats me, like, I'm not much of a score type of guy. What what's the Fortnite music? You must know that. Yeah, but it's like I, I don't know. I'm weird. I play games with the sound off sometimes. For, multiplayer oh, games. Oh, you're one of those. Multiplayer people. games, oh. though. Multiplayer games. No. Multiplayer games. Oh, no, that's, I don't that's, anymore. I don't anymore. I used to. I used that's to. Horrific. I don't anymore. I used to have a friend in like primary school who like go, oh no, music's so annoying in games. I'm just like, Whoa. look. The only reason I did it. No, I don't. That's not me. The only reason I didn't used to hear the sounds in games when I would play is because I had one of those, like, you know, I played on Xbox, and the only way to hear the game was through the TV. And if I put it on the TV, you could hear it through my mic, so I didn't want, like, people to hear the TV through no, my mic. No, you could always annoying. switch to your headset. I didn't know that. I honestly didn't know that. I thought you could only hear it through the TV. I, I didn't know you no, could you hear it through the headset until the PS4, like, last six months ago. Wow. I never knew you could hear the game through your headset, crazy. through any system, until the PS4 six months ago. So like, you've, oh, ne- you've never used a headset to play a game that's not multiplayer? Oh, because like, I... You, you know, never I just ha- plug the headset in and put it on and then you get the No, because I had, like, you know, you could use um, OBS and all, all these other things and you can hear the sound through the computer. I mean, like, before that, though. No, I, I mean, I just had like, the TV You've on. never actually, like, gamed, like, with a headset. Nope, that's, just the headset was just for that comms. Is, that's was, crazy. For comms. I honestly didn't know. It, it, that's crazy. And then, like, maybe a year ago I learned with the PS4, and then, like, months later I learned you could do it on the um, Xbox crazy. One, and I was like, what? I didn't that's know this. crazy. I, I, I don't know idea how I missed it. Uh, I didn't even know you could I, do it I on 360. Play, I can't play games without a headset. I have to have... I it was the, I had the TV on a lot every time I played. And then when we played multiplayer, I turned it, I turned it down because I didn't want like to be that guy who you can hear the TV. That's always the annoying guy in the in the group. You can hear yeah. the TV like, yo, lower that down, bro. Yeah, you, you're that guy that doesn't know you can... That's, yeah, that's I, nuts. But I, I, mean, I was still really good at multiplayer games, so hey, that didn't affect my skill at all. Could it maybe, so how, maybe how, better? Like, how do you hear anything? BT, I just, I was so conditioned to uh, being aware. But anyway. It probably would have helped my skill, back, wouldn't it? Have? Back to the topic at hand. Um, I think she'll do good. I like yes, A lot of people were saying they like the Krypton music, so I can't see that's why. That's fine with me. And Fortnite, like, it's, you know, it's calming and it's like people know, people know of it. I don't necessarily, I always just like get annoyed by it because it gets too loud. Yeah, you need it's, to check your volume set. No, it's one of those things where the audio will go extra loud for it for some reason. Mm. I don't know. But anyway, 
that's that will bring us to the end of the news. And my story. Go... About... <laughs> How long did we get out of that? Is that half what hour. What do you mean? We still got the box office breakdown. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm yeah, the... like half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's time for the box office for the weekend of June fifteenth, and our top five. Do you still have the top five yeah, from last so week? So we. Do you want to just mention what the top five was, and then I mention? Yeah, I was just looking at how wrong I was. <laughs> No, so you mentioned mention what it is first, and then we'll mention. Yeah, what I, it was. I was doing that. I was just looking at okay. how wrong I was. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, cool, cool. Number five is Deadpool with eight point six. Yeah. Uh, number four is Solo with ten point zero zero one. Uh, number three is Tag with fourteen point nine. In second place is Ocean's Eight with eighteen point nine, and in first place is obviously The Incredibles Two with one hundred and eighty two point six. It's a lot of money in the weekend. That is a lot of money. Good opening weekend. That I wonder is, how it goes. It's that like... is fifty million above the previous record for animated movie opening weekends. People were waiting fourteen years, right? Yeah, yeah. I have to wait longer because fuck me, the World Cup's on. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Should have you seen the video? Real quick, the sidebar. We won't go too much on a side note again. But did you see videos of like Mexicans in Russia after Mexico won? So I heard that Mex- I heard that Mexicans caused an earthquake. Yeah, in Mexico they caused an tremor. earthquake from jumping. <laughs> Not an earthquake, yeah. but a little seismic activity. It's like no wonder you have jumping beans. <laughs> and then there's that whole thing of like they put on Mexican music and were dancing and brought in Russians and like Egyptians and all that. Like everybody was dancing to Mexican music. <laughs> Nobody gets down like Mexicans. Let's go. But all right. So yeah, you see, you said what was we had or both Superfly. That was number six. Yeah. We got. I got number four, right? Wait, who? Who's just who's? Because you didn't so put yours a name. Is the left on the right. So you, we both right. had I, uh, Incredibles two and Ocean's eight one and two. Difference was for the sake of argument, I also put Solo at three and Tag at four. You had it the other yeah. way. So I would apart more from right. fucking Deadpool. Yeah. Where? What was my fifth one? Superfly. Where'd yeah. that come in? Because we thought that was projected oh, to make Superfly. at least eight or something. Oh. It fell at Superfly, you let me down. It's not that, so super up. It, it almost was there. It was like uh, a million it was, or something off, like a million eight hundred off. It's well, six point eight to eight point six. Yeah, it's not uh, that far off. It really, I thought Deadpool two would have dropped even lower. That's annoyingly close. I'm, I'm mad. I'm yeah. slightly mad about that one. Yeah, I can't believe but I was yeah. wrong. I tag. <laughs> Went up there. I thought Solo could have been. You, I told you Tag is going to make money. Yeah, but it, I also it, thought... It looks like a fun movie. It looks stupid, but it looks fun. Yeah, it does look fun. It definitely looks what, fun. What can you say? There's something about, like, I thought people were going to go see Solo more, but I guess not. I mean, it didn't have that bad of a job. So no, yeah, that's definitely fine. That's usual, That's a usual thing, I feel like, for these films with blockbusters that do, that are good, in a way. Mm-hmm. So, a Wrinkle in Time, bless it, had a 1,551.4% increase. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know how, what, what's caused that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, one of the biggest increases something, I've ever seen. Something happened. Yeah. One of the biggest increases for a weekend on a movie. That'd be interesting to see. Let's see. Uh, and then what is coming now next? I'm very curious. Jurassic uh, World. Next I... week we have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I don't know about you. I'm actually wait. Let me get this thing disconnected. I'm actually excited about this. I I'm looking forward to this film. Couldn't care. Couldn't care. I don't know why. Apparently it's really fucking bad. I yeah. I hear the same thing, but I, you know, I also uh, there's another guy I listened to and he they talked about it and they thought it was really fun and to me I looked at the trailers and I'm like. I don't know. It seems I might like it. Did you like the first one? Eh, it was bland because the characters are bland. This one's probably going to be just the same. Apparently, it's the exact same thing. But the this one seems like it has more action to it. Uh, I don't mean I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to it in my day, but that's that's. Just, I, I wouldn't really trust trailers. True. It's like, of course, the trailers is going to be ninety percent action because that's what sells a movie. True. So it might actually be worse than I think but I don't know there's something about it that I like the idea of what they're doing and also um, I mean they did it already technically <laughs> so it's just like yeah, yeah. Uh, it's rebooting because what, yeah. what I've heard is it's the exact same as Jurassic, the first Jurassic World the only difference is it sets up a third movie that's going to be different ah um, okay that's the only positive thing I've heard about that movie so the third one's going to be different you know, at least I think yeah. I've seen that one trailer Jeff Goldblum's like in life uh, will always survive or something like that, right? I just I just love Jeff Goldblum. It's like a, it's almost that's, like I like that's Anthony the Hopkins. The only thing he does in the movie. 
Ah, I wish he did more. That's li- literally, he, he comes in for that cameo and that's it. And it's not even that long. To me, Jeff Goldblum and Anthony Hopkins can give monologues like no others. I feel like. Or am I alone on this? Um, well, I'm not going to say you're wrong. I, I Those two think are about very that. great in monologue and have this way of like, I'm just all in on what they're saying. They could read me one of the most boring novels I've ever read and just... I mean, here's the thing, like, Jeff Goldblum could chew the paint off a wall and it'd be interesting to watch because it's Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, and it's also <laughs> it's just like, the way he talks old. is very... It's It just gets me interested. The way he he's, talks. An ex- he's eccentric. Yeah. It's Anthony weird. Hopkins is very, like, godish in a way. He's like old school yeah, philosophy. Yeah. That's why he's Odin. It's That's true. why he's a good it, Odin. It, it very works out very well. Um... um but yeah, yeah, Jurassic World Fallen, you know, it's going to be number one. It's tracking for yeah, 100. let's be honest. That's... Yeah, it's going to be number one. I, if it, wait, how much did you say it was going to track for? 130. You think Incredibles 131? Second weekend? Incredibles 2 is 14 years in the making. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to... What, what's the usual animated... Let's look, let me look at Finding Dory. Yeah, no, no, I would say no because I I, didn't, I heard Finding Dory wasn't that great. Your Incredibles two is pretty great. If I could spell Finding correctly, it might help. Um, I finding. Uh, what did find? I only want to see what the second weekend drop was. See, I, I oh, I want to see forty six percent. Right, two, so it's one, just two. under half. If it goes down thirty percent, it'll be at like one twenty seven, one twenty eight. It's not it's not gonna have a thirty percent drop. That you, is not how it works. You think more? I reckon it it'll pro it might be under fifty, but I think that's as low as it's You think be. more people aren't gonna want to go see this over Jurassic World? No, you'll get more people going to Jurassic World. Nah. It's a weird It one. could be it could be close. If you wanna put for the sake of yeah, argument, I'm gonna put I, uh, Incredibles 2 first. And you I think you'd be for... fucking crazy, but <laughs> to be perfectly honest. You know, if Incredibles 2 was at like 282 million, then Maybe. yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I, I definitely say it's going to hold number one. I don't think it will hold number one. I just feel like there's more people saying good things about Incredibles 2 than Jurassic World, and that that kind of word of mouth might, might push it. I mean, people were saying good things about Ocean's 8. It had a 55% drop. You know, I hear Ocean's 8 isn't that really that much of a comedy. Well, I mean, this was it supposed to be a comedy? I, I thought, from the trailer, I thought it was going to be a strict comedy. Have you ever seen an Ocean's movie? Yeah, but I thought this was going to be different. They're, they're not comedies. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I thought this was going to be a different, like, they're yeah. going to make this a comedy or something. I was like, oh, okay. I just, I don't know, I got that from the trailers, and I guess not. And I'm, I, still I mean, it's, it's got the, like, the typical Oceans movie banter in it. Yeah, it's true. Very I would true. say it's a comedy. All right, so I'm I2, you're Jurassic World, you're JW, I'm I2. I mean, yeah. No. Literally, just for me, move everything down one and put Jurassic World first. Okay, so tag I2. So, so Solo yeah. will be five, tag four, Oceans 8, 3, Incredibles 2, Fallen Kingdom 1. Um, okay, Ocean's 8. Ocean's 8, 3, right, you said? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ocean's 8, 3, tag 4. Solo. Luke, should we just moving everything down yeah, one? I'm doing that. Okay. I um, still can't believe Deadpool beat Superfly. It's kind of annoying. So, okay. And then, what else is coming? That's the Jurassic World and... That's it, I think. Just yeah. Jurassic World. Um, you got Sicario 2 team. next uh, week afterwards. And I feel like that's going to... That could hit number one. I hear well, it's that's really got, uh, it's, well, it's looking at 14 million. It might not hit number one with you're these right. two. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, Uncle Drew's but coming no. out, finally. Uncle Drew the same weekend, yeah. Yeah, but it's so, not yeah. going to make a lot of money. It's it's one of those. It's, it's like just, a basketball it's tra- movie. It's tracking more for Sicario. Oh, really? Mm, yeah. You think people are going to... It's also around the same time that the uh, ESP, like NBA awards are happening, so I'm pretty sure they're going to market it there. Mm. And then, yep. yeah, so while you're watching the NBA Awards, like, go watch Uncle Drew. Because it looks actually funny. But it's one of those, like, not a lot of people are going to find it funny because I'm pretty sure there's going to be basketball jokes in it. Yeah. Like, if you know. Ooh, that's interesting. Ant yeah. Man's had an, an 8% drop in his projection. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I have I2, JW. I have the same thing. Just move everything down except the. Uh, I got Except I, Incredibles. Uh, yeah, Incredible know. first. Yeah, that's, that's nutty. That is absolutely nutty. You're a nutty boy. 
I, I like to go on a risk, go all out, all in. You know, I am a gambler. I'm a degenerate gambler. I keep trying to get my friends to bet on the World Cup with me. And then I oh. told him, you missed out on the Mexico wins. <laughs> okay. So, uh, OA tag solo. That's nuts. That's crazy. There's no way it's going to do that. Yeah. I, I <laughs> no feel you're way. right. I feel you're right, but <laughs> no I don't know. I've got to go all out. I wish we had more to bet than just, like, our internet thing. Like, I wish we, there was, like, a... We should make up, a, like, a real bet. Not money, but... If Incredibles 2 stays number one, I will eat a sandwich. <laughs> You'll do that anyways. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... What else? To be fair, you could have said of your choice, but you're too late now. Yeah, let me see. What else is coming out in the next couple of weeks? Uh, well, next couple of weeks you've got... It's Jurassic World this week. Then you've got Sicario and Uncle Drew on the 29th. Um, then Nothing Till the 4th with the first purge. Uh, oh, and Man and the... At Man of Wasp is two days after that. Hotel Transylvania 3. Uh, Skyscraper Equalizer 2. Mamma Mia, here we go again. <laughs> Unfriended Dark Web. <laughs> did you have to uh, just... <laughs> yeah, I did a little snore. Just like, oh, God. Unfriended the Dark Web. You know, they only had a trailer just like yesterday, which I yeah. love that they do that. They, they Blumhouse puts out these trailers at the last second. So basically, you can pretty much go to the movie without seeing it, which... You know, they tell you the whole movie in it, so it's like, I'd rather do that. It doesn't even have tracking. <laughs> I, I'm, that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm such a Blumhouse fanboy. I just find a, almost everything they do very enjoyable. I, there's, I, I know they're not well-made I'm movies. Pretty, I'm certain that's because, like, Mexicans and horror stuff is like... I'm just a horror stuff. guy. I've realized that I just love watching horror movies. But I don't like watching horror movies that don't interest me. Like there's weird ones on Netflix and Amazon. See, I don't, I don't like doing that either, and that's literally every horror movie. Really? Like, look, yeah. okay. The only horror movie I genuinely like, really, is Alien. Really? You? I guess you're just not a horror guy, right? Not a horror guy. Yeah. I, I, like. So, you saw the, the ritual, didn't time... you? Saw the what? The ritual. Oh no, you didn't. You're not the one who told me. Uh, Someone else told me the ritual is like a Netflix made horror, like suspense movie. You know, if I had to say what the worst genre movie was, it's horror. It's I don't know because it comes out with more bad movies than good. It seems like yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know why, right? Because they're so cheap, and you can. It's just they're the there's I think they're the cheapest films you could probably make besides short films. Mm. It's horror movies, which and it's also very cheap in their in their writing. So like. I'm a big horror guy, so I don't know if you ever heard these movies called VHS. They're probably not the yeah, I've heard of yeah, it, I've heard films. It. Love the first two. Didn't get to see the three. First one's better, but uh, I'm one of those weird people that watches these and loves these, but also gets disgusted a little bit when I watch horror movies. It's just, I just don't see the point. There's like an it. adrenaline factor to it, I think, that people love. Uh, I think so, but... I mean, I suppose it is the adrenaline in it, yeah, but at the same time, it's just like... Okay, so going back to my point, I like watching horror movies that I'm interested in, right? I, everything Blumhouse does is, like, ideas that I have in my head, but I just don't have the money they do to make. So, like, Truth or There being a horror movie, Unfriended, um, uh, Happy Death Day, like, those are stuff I used to just think about. Like, oh, man, it'd be so cool to have movies like these, and they're just enjoyable to me. I mean, then right to Blumhouse, they'll probably give you money. I, you know, they'll give anybody money if you just have a yeah. random idea. I heard a podcast once with Jason Blum, and it was, like, this guy who really loves, like, horror movies, too, and loves just throwing movie ideas out there, like, the 80s, where uh, 80s was just throwing ideas out there. Yeah. And they just had, like, a whole thing of, like, what if this, what if this but a horror movie? It was, like, I just love that. I don't know. I'm I mean, you know, if, if they're going to give McFarlane money, then they'll give anyone money. Yeah, so. they'll really give anybody. Have you seen? They gave the Paranormal Activity people money to make six movies. Which that's, that's they crazy. still got me on those. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's just, that's just the Mexican in you. You know, it's just it's, like it's, it's, it's like a magnet. So? What's the thing with Mexican and horror? I've always wondered. I don't know. It's the same thing with Mexicans, well, we... and Fast and Furious. Like, sure. what gives? Well, I, I mean, I don't. I don't <laughs> did, did your like parents? Did they or the family member? Did it say any horror stories when you were younger? No. That, that was me when I was younger. You'd hear all the horror stories to not do these things, but because we're kids, we're like, we're going to do them anyways. I and sometimes you wouldn't. Because like, the superstition is part of Mexican culture. That's maybe why, right? That's why I'm so, like, you know, we're a lot of into this because it is uh, into that. I mean, one of the Paranormal Activity movies was about that. I mean, they used, like, the whole God yeah. thing, too. 
I don't know. And then, like, when you look at Netflix, there's, like, Tremors. Cannot bother to watch any of these type of movies. The Girl in the Photographs. Mm, cannot be bothered. Isn't Tremors a really old movie? Uh, they may, they keep making, like, six of them or something. Mm. You know what? I'm going to recommend you The Ritual on Netflix. I think you could enjoy it. It's a, it's a foreign film, and I think they're all from the UK. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to pick you up on that. I will know right now, I ain't not watching a horror movie. It, Just because, why would I? I it's a I don't, weird yeah. horror. It's not a horror, but it's like a suspense, thr- chilling thriller. But at the same time, it does have like monster in it, so you're right. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna I mean, so I like thriller movies. Thrillers are good. It, it's a like, very if thrillery it's just straight up horror, then, no. until the end. Until the end, there's like some horror elements. But it's yeah. very thrillery throughout the whole like movie. So Yeah. Yeah, and it's also I love the I love the synopsis to it. Four friends with a long-standing but strained connection take a hiking trip into the Swedish wilderness, from which they may never return. Mm. Eh, I probably wouldn't recommend. You don't like horror movies, never mind. <laughs> it's also some, some guy added me saying that you probably wouldn't like Lucifer. I'd argue yeah, that I he saw would. That, yeah. okay. I'd argue that Mitch would like Lucifer if he gave it a chance. That's a different conversation for a different show. It's true, but I'm just saying. So on that note, we have everything written down for next week. Yes. So we'll see if we, um, if Joe's nutty or not. <laughs> so uh, until next time. And toodles.